I'm Thomas Chittenden, and I'm running for state senate for Chittenden County. I grew up here in Chittenden County. I grew up in the house I now live in. Um, I currently work at the University of Vermont. I'm also a three-term uh, city councilor for the city of South Burlington. I've also uh, recently uh, been the chair of the Green Mountain Transit Board, which I've had the honor of serving on for the last five years representing the city of South Burlington. My spouse is Kimberly Chittenden. She is a fourth grade teacher out of Mallets Bay School in Colchester. And we have three kids that attend school here in South Burlington. Um, my youngest is Thomas. He is seven years old, going into second grade. Amelia, who is going into sixth grade. And then my oldest is Samantha, going into eighth grade. I have a lot of pets. So we have three dogs. We have two cats, we have two lovebirds, we have four cockatiels, we have a turtle, we have ducks, we have two turkeys. I like to call them Christmas and Thanksgiving. The kids prefer I not. Uh, we also have some chickens. I'm proud to be raising my kids in the house I grew up in, the house my father grew up in, the house my grandfather grew up in, the house my great-grandfather was born in, in the craft room. This has been Chittenden land for hundreds of years, and I want to keep it that way. I'm, I want to create opportunities that allow my kids to be able to stay here, live here, work here, and thrive here. I see too many opportunities fleeing the state because of policies we've adopted over the last 30 or 40 years. I have three older sisters. They've all left the state. They're in Michigan. They're down in North Carolina. They're in Pennsylvania. They're raising their kids, my nieces and nephews, in other states. Those kids aren't looking at the Vermont State Colleges. They're not contributing to our school system, and they're not adding to our economy. I want to see more policies that allow for current and future Vermonters to stay here in Vermont. My parents, they bought a house about 1985 uh, out in Westford and they uh, ended up subdividing the lot. There's a bunch of land and they kept a 10 acre parcel with this beautiful hillside that looked out over in a bucolic Vermont pasture with a red barn off in the distance. And they held on to that and their plan was to build a house out there and retire there so that they could sell the old Chittenden homestead to one of their kids when they're ready to take it on. 2013, they went to go out and build there, and the state laws have changed. They were changed in 2007, and they were no longer allowed to put a septic system. So instead of retiring here in Vermont, keeping their retirement income, keeping their contributions to our economy in the state of Vermont, they packed up their goods and they moved to Florida. We're looking at, for the first time in the state's history, a population decrease in the 2020 census. We are literally shrinking. We're gonna have less people in 2020 than we did in 2010. A negative 0.3% population increase over the last 10 years. And with a declining or shrinking population, it's putting upward pressure on our tax bills. One thing I would say that makes Tom a great candidate for state senate is the fact that he listens. Um, there's been many times, many phone calls, many emails, text messages where he's, he finds a space in the house or outdoors so he can answer someone's question or listen to someone's complaint. <laughs> um, he, he's one of those people that when he says that he is um, available to answer any questions, he wants to hear from you, he means it. I know uh, his character since childhood. Uh, he's always been respectful of people that he's interacted with, and uh, he's a very good person. Uh, then he, quite a few years ago, became a city councilor for the city of South Burlington, and I've watched his career in that role for those years that he's been a counselor, and he's done an excellent job. Very dedicated to the community, very open-minded, and willing to listen to anybody that may have issues they want to bring forward. Through storm and manifold peril rose an enduring state, and uh, you can say that again of these days. We're looking at unemployment rates that we haven't seen in decades, if not generations. I do see a light at the end of the tunnel. This is a storm that we're gonna get through. Sooner or later, we're gonna come out of this. And I think we're gonna come out stronger than ever if we start looking at old problems in different ways. I'm a Democrat, proud to be a Democrat, but I do think party affiliations hold us back. They stop us from getting things done. Too often we think in this binary perspective where if you're a Democrat or Republican and you bring forward an idea, you have to somehow find fault with it just because of the letter after the name of the person offering it. I have many Republican friends, uh, many Republican family members. I think Republicans have, got, have brought great ideas to the table in years past, and so have Democrats. And I strongly believe we make better decisions when we have different points of view around the table. With funding our pension, to funding our public services, to finding ways to, to provide the best quality, highest quality, world-class education for our kids in a financially sustainable and feasible manner. 
These are challenges that are going to take Democrats, they're going to take Republicans, they're going to take progressives. We have to extinguish those party lines and work together to find these solutions. He's doing this because he cares about what the other families in the community, what they need. He cares about issues um, that others are facing. Um, and although, and he, he also doesn't pretend that he knows it all. He is doing this because he wants a better, not even better, I mean Vermont's great. He wants um, Vermont to continue to grow and he wants to have a space where he's always thinking of his family. Um, so he wants this to be a place where people feel as though they're supported, they feel as though they are listened to and heard and on the issues so we can make better decisions. My dad is running for Chittenden County State Senate and I am very proud of him because he started out as city council and you could definitely tell that he really wanted to do more because he wanted to have a voice about what he thinks is best for Chittenden County um, and Vermont and so I think I'm really proud that he's finally going at it and I think he's going to do well. If I could vote for my dad, I would because he's a great father and he would make a great senator. Tom Chittenden, Democrat for State Senate, I think he's a great choice. He's young, he's energetic, he's got good communication skills. He's a Vermonter for our times. And his family, they know how to lead. The Chittens have been doing that for about 200 years or so. He's got a young family, he's been a firefighter and a teacher. I think you should vote for him on Tuesday, August 11th in the Democratic State primary or get an absentee ballot and vote for him now like I will. Thank you. I would say one main word to describe my dad was he perseveres. Loyal. Integrity. Compassionate. He's a good listener. Thomas is an excellent person that I'm proud to support in his campaign for state senator. I think he would make a great senator and I hope he wins this election. I'm Thomas Chittenden, and I'm running for State Senate. The best part of public service on um, serving on the South Burlington City Council is hearing from constituents, voters, and people about what they care about and what they want to see in their representatives. Please reach out to me. Uh, my phone number is 802-233-1913. My website is thomaschittenden.com. My email address is thomas.chittenden at gmail.com. Tell me how I can earn your vote and what you want to see in your next state senator. And I humbly ask you to cast your vote for me on August 11th, Thomas Jindon. Thanks for watching.